Hey Libra, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. So we're going to get started with a mediumship uh, card. This is a mediumship training deck, so it will refer to you as a trainee. So let's see what comes out. It could be anything um, from the heavens, from spirit, talking about your spiritual gifts, talking about a spiritual gift that would be of service to you. All right, let's see what comes out for Libra. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Libra? And we have creating sacred space. So I feel like this is having to do with protection and creating, you know, your own sacred space. So it says sacred space is simply a way to hold the energy of spirit in an honorable, loving and gracious manner. This card is a sign that it's time for you to create a sacred sp space that's unique and personal to you where you can commune with spirit. Creating sacred space for spirit is a practice honored by mediums and spiritual practitioners from many traditions. Calling in the light of spirit to enhance your meditation or sitting in its power can both be helpful in creating a safe space for spiritual and mediumship practice. Some people like to burn sage, light candles, play music, and meditate or pray before working with spirit as a way of creating a loving, inviting environment for spiritual connection and communication. Why not create an altar in a special place in your home, home or office to make that space sacred? Using crystals, spiritual icons, flowers, or spiritual images can enhance the sacredness of the space. By working regularly in this space, it will become more infused with spiritual energy. The most important thing that's needed when you're creating sacred space is a loving intention. This can be used wherever you are, anywhere in the world. Try it. Take a breath of loving awareness into your heart. In your own words, ask for a clear healing connection between you and the spirit world. Always share gratitude to spirit for hearing and honoring your intention. So I feel like this is coming to your attention because there's definitely something going on in your environment that is um, like we all need sacred space, I feel like. But there's something in your environment that is creating um, spirit to really bring this to your attention because of maybe chaos, chaos in your environment or you know, just um, the need for protect a protective place to really connect. So I feel like you're also being asked to um, lovingly connect with spirit on a more regular basis in a more positive environment. All right, what else do we have for Libra? And we have tune into the rhythm of nature let us connect together there so you may find that bringing nature into your sacred space or creating a sacred space in nature could be out in your backyard could be in you know in a um you know a meadow a meadow nearby your house is what i'm getting i'm also i think these are poppies so um, some of you may be from california is what i'm getting here this is number 40. <clears throat> All right, let's see what comes out from the Talking to Heaven cards. The earth is our school. And I've gotten this card several times, even though I have shuffled profusely. So I feel like this is really telling you that there's something for you to learn and this is also um, spirit, you know, the angels, your passed on loved ones and your spirit guides letting you know that this is a time for learning everything you can about experiencing things in, in the physical. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is about learning lessons and clearing karma. You know, this is about the earth being a time for a time so you know i feel like this is also indicating that there is more to come in your eternal life after this physical one all right so what else do we have for libra 
and we have the ace of swords newfound clarity so i feel like there's something that in your recent past you finally um are in a um very focused and like a realization is coming to you this could be a new opportunity this could be you know a new challenge but this is also considered the victory card so i feel like something has um really some kind of breakthrough has really happened for you and it could be that a breakthrough is coming by doing these things by clearing the space by being out in nature and really connecting with spirit what else do we have and we have judgment earned reward so it's talking about having cleared the karma now being able to fully um experience the the positive karma in the situation in your life i feel like this is also about a wake-up call you know for your life purpose so i feel like you're answering the call answering the mission this is definitely you know a new beginning so i feel like this judgment card is saying that you've earned your way to this new beginning what is the challenge here and we have the five of wands so frictional conflict so i feel like um there's a conflict that needs to be resolved you're already being told that you're going to have clarity in the situation that you are um going to have victory so i feel like that that makes it um less confrontational when you can just let things play out you have already been assured and protected and guided towards victory so i feel like whatever the situation is you're going to um just knowing that you're going to be victorious is going to give you the confidence and the um what's the word i'm looking for kind of like the being able to withdraw from the outcome without trying to force the outcome because you already know what it's going to be all right so what is the advice from spirit here and we have the page of cups look at that it's so cute um new excitement so i feel like there's something like an emotional offer emotional message i feel like something involving romance and love is coming into your life this could be um a message a message like a love letter um i'm also getting that there's something that you're really feeling good about all right so what is the outcome here and we have the nine of coins so prosperous victory so this could definitely be a message about a job well done this could be a contract that you completed and you're getting the reward from that i feel like um <clears throat> whether this is in work or spiritual most of this is spiritual in nature but i feel like all things are connected for you so i feel like this independent feeling this um, achievement that you feel is really bringing in some new emotional fulfillment here at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of cups so intuitive compassion so i feel like this is really opening up your heart to a situation and i feel like you're going to trust your intuition which is going to guide you the best to your highest path here and i also feel like there may be um you know an emotional person emotional feminine person that is in your spiritual team like a passed on loved one or an ancestor spiritual guide that's really pulling for you and guiding you towards a more emotionally fulfilled life so i feel like that's what um this is all about so this could definitely be about pursuing a career in something that brings you this emotional fulfillment um this could also be about you know with this nine of coins about um following your heart to open a new you know open your own business or this could also be about relationships with this judgment card here we could definitely um 
see a reunion happening here. And I feel like everything, it's like you're going to look back and say everything happened the way that it was supposed to, um, to get you to this moment here. Even the hard times, even the challenges here. I feel like that's where your clarity is coming in, is, is understanding that everything you went through was meant to teach you something. We have this, the earth is our school. All right, so let's clarify. Show me that Ace of Swords. And we have the Ace of Cups, so emotional readiness. So I definitely see that um, there were certain things that happened in order for you to learn to love yourself, in order for you to open your heart to new situations. And so I feel like that's what's happening here. A brand new beginning, a victorious and successful beginning. And so I feel like that's what's happening here. And it's going to bring you that emotional fulfillment. It's like it had to start with this clarity and understanding of loving yourself. So show me that judgment card. And we have the King of Cups. So we do have a divine partnership here. So it could be that you're dealing with a water sign, but I just feel like this is a place where you're both um, coming together probably um, this is a past relationship or reunion or it's like we've had conflict and now we may have been separated but now we're really coming together and giving this uh, a better go if that makes sense to you so I feel like you know there there may be an apology with this page of cups here an apology or a realization that um, that this is a love worth fighting for. All right, show me this five of wands as a challenge. And we have the nine of coins again. So prosperous victory again. So I definitely feel like if there was a conflict between this relationship that it was over, could have been over money or could have been over someone that spent too much time um, more time focused on work and I feel like that this is where you're getting a new beginning to actually give it a proper go and I just had the next card fly out hold on okay and we have the seven of cups grandiose temptation so I feel like that is part of this is finding your how you really feel about all the stuff that's going on around you the seven of cups definitely can be like a lot of overwhelming energy going on around you to where it confuses your emotions. You can't connect with your heart. But I feel like that's what's happening here is that you're coming into really connecting to your heart and understanding how you feel about this situation. And it is a love worth fighting for. All right, show me that nine of coins. And we have the Nine of Swords, reliving past trauma. So I feel like this is also about some of this conflict could have come from past trauma. This could be um, holding back or not opening your heart fully because of the traumas that you've been through. But this is letting you know that you've got this clarity now and you understand that. And so you're able to start healing that, right? And I feel like that's where the sacred space is gonna be so crucial and understanding that it was a lesson you were meant to learn and a karmic um, event to really um, set the stage for this to be this most fulfilling love here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the two of coins, so setting priorities. So I got that here um, with the nine of coins as the challenge as well, is that you know someone it was putting more energy into work than to this relationship and I feel like those priorities have been set straight at this point so I or that's what will happen so that's something to definitely um, focus on setting priorities and I feel like because it's coming out under that Queen of Cups I feel like your priority is to follow your heart your emotional um, life is the most important part for you right now okay let's get some guidance here it also shows like a crossroads so this is a choice and i feel like um we get into certain relationships in our life and 
we feel stuck or, you know, we're not sure if the relationship is going to make it. And I feel like, I feel like if we just remember that you chose each other and that it's always a choice to stay together, you always have the choice to leave, then that is what, um, that's what's going to make this all the more um, fulfilling is understanding that you were chosen and you chose, okay? You chose your partner and you were chosen as well. Okay, let's get one more or let's get <laughs> guidance. What guidance do we have for Libra? And we have this one here. Star seed, raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light. So you may be a star seed or identify as a star seed. I strongly suggest uh, looking into that. Google star seed. I mean, there's a ton of information, some of it conflicting. So it's still about having discernment and trusting your intuition on what you're reading. Okay, we have this one here. Signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. And I feel like it's certain signs. This could be numbers. This could be feathers. This could be just seeing, you know, a certain animal. Um, I feel like it could be anything that you see that keeps nudging you to uh, memory, nudging you towards um, understanding that you have protection and guidance and angels all around you. All right, what else do we have? Last one. Okay, we have this one here. Creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. Beautiful. So those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.